ルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルprocess a signal into another instrument via their VST. Now, I think that this VST is really, really cool. And it also goes along with what we've been talking about lately on the channel, which is melody. Different instruments create different moods when you apply melodies to them. And as you are listening to different kinds of instruments, they elicit different kinds of moods because of the way that the instrument is played. You can have the same similar melody sound totally different when it's being played on a different instrument. That is the melody of when the saints go marching in. But this is how it sounds like when it's played on a trumpet. You guys know I love instruments. I had to go out and get me a trumpet to go along with the collection of all of the instruments that we've been adding to the studio. When you're playing in the trumpet, you're controlling your breath and the flow of air to increase the velocity or decrease the velocity to slur your notes and things like that. And this kind of expression gets even more grand when you look at other instruments such as a saxophone. Now, I don't actually have a saxophone, but what if I wanted to get that same kind of expression with breath control and velocity that you would hear from a trumpet or a saxophone, but to actually play that in your DAW? That is where Magenta's VST comes in. So in order to get this plugin, head over to their website. The link will be in the description and you can download it for Mac and you can also download it for Windows. It's very easy to add it and install it into your plugin folder. They have this whole page detailing how this plugin works, but I'm not even going to try to pretend like I understood any of it. It's some kind of wizardry going on with the science behind this plugin, but all I know is that it can do some really cool things like this. When I saw that, I knew that this was a plugin that I had to try. So one of the first ways that I used it was in a hip hop track that I was creating and I wanted to have a saxophone in the track. Reason has some stock patches that you can use for saxophone, but I really like this plugin and how you could play it with your guitar. And guess what? You can also play it with your voice as well by singing or humming into a microphone. So let me just jump into reason so I can show you guys what I mean. In this track, I used this plugin to create some saxophone riffs that I could add to this hip hop beat. And I also switched the plugin from saxophone to trumpet so I could play this line as well. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to load up an audio track. And then I'm going to make sure I'm connected to my audio interface. So now if we take a listen, we're just going to hear some guitar. We're going to add in the plugin under Magenta DDSP effect. The different instruments that you can choose from is flute, violin, trumpet, saxophone, bassoon, clarinet, melodica, sitar, trombone, tuba, and vowels, whatever that is. Let's go to saxophone. I'm just going to play on my guitar and you'll hear the saxophone being played. The reason why I like this effect and playing with the guitar is because you can get real expressive with the way you play your notes. For example, I could just play the note regular. Or I can add a little bit of modulation to it. Slide, slur. 
You also have control of dynamics. If I play softly. Or if I play loudly. Here are the different controls that you can use with the plugin. First, you have pitch shift. And if you don't change the pitch shift, then you pretty much get the natural sound of the instrument. But you can also raise it up by an octave or any number of semitones that you would like. You have harmonics. Think of that as like a way to change the tone or the sound of the instrument. You also have noise. It kind of generates noise in order to create the sound from the instrument. So you can dial that down and have less noise. But see, some of that noise is used to create the attack of the saxophone. So you want to leave some of it in there. And lastly, we just have an output gain, which is basically a volume. On the effect side, we have a reverb and you can affect how large the reverb is and whether or not it is very bright or very dark with the dampening. And you also can increase how much of the reverb that you hear with the wet. If Magenta has a reverb plugin, I would really like to use that because the reverb on here sounds pretty good. Now we can try some different instruments, but I'm gonna just tell you now that the saxophone is my favorite. One thing you got to keep in mind is that chords will not work with this plugin. It's really more so for the individual note. It's listening for the individual note, kind of the same way that Neptune does or Autotune. It's listening to that specific note and then it's adjusting the plugin in order to play that note. So chords won't work because you're hearing a cluster of notes and therefore the plugin can't actually differentiate between what's trying to be played. All right, so now I want to show you guys some different tips and tricks that you can use with this plugin in order to be able to use it in your own music productions. First of all, one thing that you can do is add in a channel dynamics. Turn on the gate and that way it will eliminate some of that extra noise that's created with the program and you'll get a cleaner sound. Secondly, what I do is I add a second track and then I will turn on the record source for this track and I will set that recording source, the audio input as that track. So if we name this, for example, AI saxophone, now we are getting the audio input from this track going into this track. So when I come over here to my sequencer and I start playing, So that way I'm getting the sound burned into the track. It's like if I bounce the track. And the reason why is because if you bounce it afterwards, there's a delay that happens because of the plugin. And sometimes you can get that delay to get back on track and sometimes you can't. So it's best to just burn it into the audio file all the way. Like I said, there is a delay. So we got to kind of fit this guy so that is where it should be. So if I add another audio track, for example, and I pull this one down, you'll hear that it is playing guitar. And this is an example of how you could use the VSC.
here's another example of how I use my guitar to play the saxophone in this beat. But that's not the only way that you can use the VST. As a matter of fact, any audio signal that's going into the plugin is going to be able to create the same kind of sound. Here is my AI track, and I'm just gonna look for a vocal sample inside of these refills here. Can you feel it? Turn on the effect. I feel for you. <laughs> So just dropping in the vocal sample and playing it with the VST, it just transforms it into that saxophone. So I was able to find a guitar sample here. So like I said, you could just add in this guitar sample and just play it. So here's what it sounds like without the effect. And here's what it sounds like with the effect. The cleaner the audio signal where we can hear the pitch changes, the better it's gonna sound. But I have another example for you guys. Here is what the original of that saxophone part sounds like. Da, 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 da. Just by humming into my microphone, I was able to produce that saxophone line. Now, is this the best sounding saxophone for a VST? Probably not. There are probably other VSTs with a lot more samples to produce a better, richer sound. But it's super fun and it's super cool to be able to create that kind of saxophone part using your voice or a guitar or an audio file. I just think that it's just super cool. I hope that you guys like it and you enjoyed it. Maybe there's some ways that you could use it in your music production in order to get that sound that you've been searching for. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Chris Reed. Until next time, peace.